Hello, my name's Anne and I'm going to show you how to make a bird feeder out of a milk carton. So you start off with an ordinary milk carton like this. I've been working on this one, but um, any of the old milk cartons that your mum or dad probably have in the fridge, um, or even an orange juice carton, you can start off with one of those. And uh, the first thing you do, and get some help with this if you're um, a little person who doesn't have a lot of experience with scissors. Um, and the first thing you're going to do is wash it out, actually. Wash it out and you can dry it for a little while. First thing you're going to do is make um, a cutout in the front. You can see the cutout here like that, just on one side. The second thing you need to do is you need to make a hole through this so that eventually we can put a perch in for the birds like this. So again, get help with this if you're a little person because you've got to do this with scissors. So you need a hole in one side and a hole in the other um, so you can put a perch through here so that the birds can hop in and um, get be on the perch while they're eating their food. You also want to put a hole just under this um, top here, just under the lid, um, on both sides because eventually you're going to put a piece of string or in this case we've put a pipe cleaner through here um, so that you can hang it up in your garden. You can hang it up in what you like so you can see the birds um, and also it keeps it then out of the way of the squirrels um, who will eat your bird food really quickly. Um, so then what you do is once you've got your milk carton, it's got a couple of holes in it now, then what you want to do is you want to take some sandpaper, just some ordinary sandpaper and rub down the outside because it's got a waxy coat on the outside of the um, milk carton and you want to be able to paint it. So you want to be able to paint it and here what we've been using is some um, outdoor acrylic paint. You don't really have to have outdoor acrylic paint but it will last longer outside if you use the outdoor stuff. I'm sure this is available from Michaels or whatever, even the dollar store may have stuff like this. Um, so then you rub down, you, you sandpaper down your milk carton just on the sides and um, maybe on the top and then you can paint it. So um, here we've painted one green and one blue. The best thing to do is to use um, natural colours because you don't want to frighten the birds off by painting it bright pink. You could but you know maybe you'll get less birds um, in that case. So you can paint it brown or pink or um, brown or green or blues. Colours are the best colours and you can see here that's what we've done. We've painted them and here you can see what we've done. We've got a stick here. Now I think it would be fun just to see if you can find a stick outside in your garden to put through these holes so that you can make, oops, make your perch like that. And then also um, the pipe cleaner is nice and easy because you can stick the pipe cleaner through one side and then pull it out the other side. Um, so that's a stiff, but you could also use a piece of string for that. So that might be a little bit fiddly. If you've got little hands, you might want to have help with somebody bringing it out the other side. I'm having a bit of trouble myself finding the holes, so you can do that with your um, friends or brother and sister or mum or dad, whoever is in the house. So there we have, this is the bird feeder. I'll take this thing out at the moment. And then comes the really fun part. Then you can do what you would like to decorate it. And we, I mostly suggest that you take um, natural things to, to um, decorate it. I've got some nice leaves here. These leaves I pressed so they're nice and flat so that when you come to stick them on, they stick on really well. You can use any old glue. We've got Elmer's glue here. Um, and then we've also just got one of these sticks, um, that one of these sticky st glue sticks. This is one's from Staples. You can stick your um, leaves on the outside like this. Put a nice bit of glue on. Stick your leaves on and you can do what you like. You can stick as many or as few things as you want. I've got these really nice these are just flowers. When I get a bunch of flowers, I often keep some and dry them. I just put them in a box. Then you can dry those on and that's going to look really pretty too on the outside. And then um, once you've done that, whoops, 
Oh, look at that, just fell off about with a bit more glue on that. There you are. And let the glue dry before you put it out. Obviously, you also want to let the paint dry, which I forgot to say. You want to let the paint dry also before you put it out. I think it tells you on here how, how long to, that, to let it dry before you can put it outside. And then that's about it. And then you'll find that, um, you know, you have, you'll have a lot of birds come into your garden. Some people have to be careful because there might be bears in your garden. So some people might want to bring them in at night so that you don't attract bears. If you live out in the country with lots of woods around you, but um, your mum and mum or dad will help you um, decide whether that's appropriate. Okay, so I think that's about it. Happy birding.